going on guys so yesterday I vinyl wrapped the tail lights on my 2400 Honda Accord I did a pretty shitty job on this side to be honest um, I'm pretty sure there's a couple things I did wrong which I'll try to explain on in a couple seconds here but today's gonna be part two because I only did the side tail lights and the Honda Accord has four tail lights it has two on the side and two on the trunk so today I'm gonna be working on the trunk and hopefully it comes out a lot better but um I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I may have done wrong and how they came out. So, so as you can see here, we only did the side tail lights. I still need to finish that one right there and that one right there, which will be today's project. Um, and just to quickly show you how it came out. As you can see, the reason why I think I did such a bad job was because we were using the doll blade and when we were cutting it to tuck in the rest of the vinyl wrap in, the blade wasn't doing much cutting, so uh, our cuts came out very bad. I'm not too sure how well you can see it. Let's see, like as you can see right there, uh, we cut the vinyl wrap and it just wasn't cutting so it did a very bad job. And also another thing is there were some bubbles. I'm not too sure how well you can see the bubbles either but there were some bubbles that we could not get out and after watching a couple more YouTube videos I noticed that people were watering their headlights before putting the vinyl wrap on which is something I'm going to try today. And of course, I'm not a professional, I'm just doing this to pass some time and have fun and work on my Honda Accord. So, as you can see on the other side, its side came out a bit better just because when we were doing this yesterday, I was doing this with my cousin yesterday, and when we did it on this side, instead of using that blade, we used some scissors to thinly cut just enough to where we can tuck the rest of the vinyl wrap inside. And the only part where we messed up on this side, or I think I did, was when I was cutting it, I accidentally cut into the vinyl wrap on this side and we tried fixing that by putting some more vinyl wrap and then uh, heating it up so it can stick on there but unless you really look at it, it doesn't look that bad and there's a couple more air bubbles on this side that we could not get out but hopefully this side will come out a lot better and yeah, I'm gonna make making a time lapse of me starting to finishing these two last tail lights, so yeah, stick around. This is actually the final result. As you can see, I finally finished it up. Um, I know I said I was gonna record the whole thing of me doing it, but unfortunately my iPad just wouldn't work with me and it kept turning off. So I wasn't able to record the whole thing, but I did get some clips in. Anyways guys, as you can see, it looks, in my opinion, it looks really good. Um, I know I did, I did a, I feel like I did a lot better job on these middle two tail lights, so the outer edges just because I've never done it before and this one was really hard just because of the, uh, like I said, I, didn't, I was using a dull blade and I didn't spray down the inside of the tail light. And the second time I did it, which was with these two middle tail lights, I sprayed down the middle tail lights with water and then put the vinyl wrap on top. And it made it a lot easier to get rid of those bubbles. And then I also cut just enough where I can tuck in the rest of the vinyl wrap on the inside. Oops, my bad. The, found, the part that I found really hard for this was actually on the inside right here. Just because of the way it's curved, it took a lot of heating, reheating the vinyl wrap and stretching it out. Um, I accidentally, again, I, I underestimated myself and I cut a little bit too much in, so I had to patch it up with some more vinyl wrap. I'm not too sure how well you can tell that. And on the other side, as you can see right here, I did the same thing. 
But um, overall, guys, it was pretty simple. You just gotta know what you're doing. And um, yeah, if you guys are interested, I actually did use vinyl wrap from Premium Auto Styling. Uh, as you can know, they're located out in Riverside, so I went out and I went out and picked it up. And I also ordered the 3M gloss black for my roof, which I will be doing next. But overall, if you guys are interested in doing it, I, I mean, go ahead. It's not that hard. Just take your time. And yeah, but pretty much that's going to be it. Um, I will show you how it looks like with um, the, the lights on. As you can see, it's a bit dark. And so I will actually be changing out the light bulbs that go inside and changing them out to LEDs just so that you can see them a lot better during the nighttime and the day, daytime, hopefully. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that people can see it. Um, and remember to subscribe because I will be making more videos on my cards. So, um, like, the, like I said, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be vinyl wrapping my roof. And then after that, I'm not too sure. I got a lot of plans for this car, like lowering it a bit, getting new wheels, um, putting the subwoofer in there, changing out the speakers, stuff like that, you know. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, just make sure to stay subscribed. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.